guys welcome back it's been a minute today we're gonna go out and shoot a day of street photography here in Sapporo and it's snowing I didn't expect the snow to kick in till the a.m. in the morning sunrise but it's midnight and it's snowing so we're gonna go out and shoot Jerome's here he's kicking snow with the wrong <laughs> shoes so we're gonna probably get soaked uh, gonna head 50 minutes down the road to the main area of Sapporo the city uh, hopefully the lights don't turn off any minute um, it could happen but yeah, I'm super excited, so I'll see you guys there. Like literally 10 minutes in, it started hailing and it's pretty intense. It looks good in photos, but I'm getting pretty bad in terms of like shooting condition. Um, hopefully it stays like this though for the photos. Uh, let's see what we can get. For like 15 minutes the snow stopped so we got some nikuma which is like steam buns that's what it is i never call it that mm. it's pretty good wait for the snow i'll catch you guys later So we didn't really take too much of a long break. We slept a bit and I got breakfast at four and it's almost sunrise, it's blue hour. The weather is really nice, it's snowing. So that's a good sign. We're headed to the Nijo market because that area is pretty sick. I really like the vibe there on the first day we arrived. Um, so we're gonna go there and shoot some street photos. It's the fish market. So hopefully there's some nice um, locals and the vibe pretty much. Uh, surrounding that area to capture some nice photos so see you guys there and i'll put you guys on pov arrived at the Nijo fish market and there's no one here well not that many people compared to the first day so it's nice 
Hopefully we get some photos. Dude, the snow is so powdery. It's so cool. And we can see the famous tower from here as well, all the way up down there. Um, yeah, let's get some photos, put you guys on POV and just shred away. Okay. Okay, so just finished shooting the streets. Pretty sick, it's still snowing. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. Kind of chased people here and there to get the right framing and whatnot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna take a break. It's been a long morning, so get some warm beverages and warm up. And we're gonna head to a different town. And I'm gonna let you guys on where we're going in a bit. But till then, uh, let's get some warm stuff and yeah, just chill for a bit. All right, so just made it for breakfast. Well, I had breakfast at four, so this is, I don't know what this is, but we're resting up. We deserve some good food. For sure. <laughs> Okay, so just got off at Minami Otaru. We're gonna walk all the way to the canal, the port side of this area. It's along the ocean, so it's really sick. And it's all powder, so it's insane. Um, I kind of like this area last time I visited because it has the old architectures still intact. But it used to be the biggest um, port in the early 20th century. And yeah, it's still like one of the popular uh, tourist locations, but Hopefully it'll look sick in photos because I want to get some street photos there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make my way there and I'm gonna shoot on POV and yeah, just try and get as much photos as possible. Oh, that's one more. It's down that way, right?
to the convenience store to kind of wash up these snow. I think that's a wrap. Yeah, that was a good run for sure. All my gear is soaked. Okay, just came back, or actually we came back and we slept for three hours because we were so exhausted. Uh, just woke up to get dinner and yeah, just call it a day, call it a night. I'm super happy with what we've got. It's probably one of my favorite street photography sessions in a while. Jerome's already eating. <laughs> and so yeah, uh, calling it a day, a uh, successful day for sure. Hope you guys enjoy the episode as well. Um, but yeah, like always, stay safe. Stay curious, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.